So it's been a few months since, since my last product idea video. Um, the reason being is because to find truly decent products, like really good products that I have confidence in, it takes me quite a lot of time to do so. And what I want to avoid is showing you guys just a bunch of rubbish just for the sake of a YouTube video. Um, ever since coronavirus 2 has kind of put a shutdown on things, and the majority of my time, to be honest, has been doing product research. I'm just creating lists of different products so that when things do kind of come back online again, then I've got a ton of different products that I'm ready to start testing right away. So in this video, I want to share with you three of those products um, that have absolutely huge potential in 2020. I'm going to show you the reasons why too. I like to present evidence with everything that I suggest um, just to back it up. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please make sure you let me know, by the way, um, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, whatever it is. Um, I read every single comment too. So if there is a question you want to ask me, simply post it down below and I will get back to you. And finally, as it says there at the top, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Thanks again for tuning in and let's get straight into product number one. So the first product I want to show you guys is this retractable stool. To tell the truth, I found this a few months ago, but being somebody who drop ships into the UK a few months ago in the UK, well, even still today to some degree, um, it's cold every single day, it's raining every single day. However, now that we're coming to the end of March into April, um, we have festivals coming up, people start to go camping. So now is the perfect time to start selling this product. Just to kind of illustrate this or give you some evidence behind why I'm saying this, then here is the Google trend data for the two search terms, camping and festival, um, side by side against each other. As you can see, they kind of both go up and down at the same times. And at the point in which they both start to increase, as we can see here, is kind of now. So pretty much now, the time we're in now, um, now is a great time because as you can see, it's only going to go up and up and up until it reaches this peak in kind of July, August time. Um, and this repeats as you can see year on year too. So that it's a perfect illustration of why now is a great time to sell this product. There are some more reasons though. Number one being is this easy to market. The best products I've found in my experience to market on Facebook are always the demonstrative products, the products that you can illustrate exactly how they work um, and how they can benefit somebody if they buy them. So just to give you a quick showcase of a particular ad that I found, just to give you an idea of the kind of things um, that you want to be doing. So as you can see, you can um, they're illustrating straight away the fact that it's retractable and it extends. So it's like a flat pack to begin with, and then it extends much bigger. So it's easy to pack, easy to travel with. And then if we just zoom ahead, they go on to show all the different kind of applications of where and how you can use it. Even in your even in your own living room, as you can see, they're demonstrating here. If it was me, I wouldn't demonstrate it in such a pointless way. If you ask me, I would invest in one of these things. I would take the time to go out to a local fishing lake or to a camp site or something and just show the proper environment in which you would use a product um, like this one. If we go back to Keynote then, there are some more reasons. Number two, it's really easy to target on Facebook. So obviously you can target um, certain festivals and people who go to certain festivals, there's kind of like a certain demographic who go, which makes it even further easier, if that makes sense, um, to target. Um, and then obviously you've got camping, fishing, and any kind of outdoor event. Um, as well. Point three I've already mentioned um, is coming into trend right now. I've already seen the data. The next point is there's many upsell and cross-sell opportunities. So with people spending time outdoors, so for example, fishing, there's tons of different pieces of fishing gear that you could upsell with this. Same for camping, same for festivals. And believe it or not, then you can actually compete with Amazon on the price. So if we open the link to find the exact same products on Amazon, we can see that these guys are selling it for 35 pounds. Taking that into account then, if we get into the numbers, um, the purchase price is 19 pounds 57, which we can see here over on the right. Um, sale price 34.99 um, as a minimum if you ask me that is if you do want to compete with Amazon leads you a profit margin of 15 pounds 42 take your Facebook ad cost out of there you're looking at about five pounds um, profit per order if you don't include anything else on top of that so no cross sales or upsells product number two is this 15 in one baby carrier now it's important that you don't just go for any random baby carrier it has to be this 15 in one one um, the reason being is I showed this to my sister and she said it would be a great product because it combines multiple problems into one solution. Um, so the reasons for this product then why I think it's such a good product and why I think you should test this one is number one, it's a consistent seller all year round. So a lot of products will come in and out of trend such as the one I just showed you, whereas this one will, cons will sell consistently all year round. And just to illustrate this again, I wanna show you some Google Trend data. 
So as we can see in the UK for the past five years, it kind of say, stays at the same level, um, which brings me nicely into my next point. In fact, in fact, it's not my next point, it's the fourth point down, which is it's an evergreen market. And what that basically means is there's always more and more people coming into this market because there's always people being born. Therefore, there's always, always, always going to be a demand for products like this. Number two is it solves many, many problems. As it says in the title, it's a 15 in one baby carrier. And the advantage to this then is it allows you to move your baby around into different positions. So as your back starts to hurt, you can move the baby to a different position to kind of take stress off that part. The other thing it has as well that the typical baby carrier doesn't is different pockets. So for example, when you leave the house, I've seen my sister carry her baby plus about two or three different bags and it's like a big juggling act. She needs a handbag, a gym bag, etc. Whereas with a product like this, it kind of eliminates at least one bag that you need because you have that pouch at the front plus there's a pouch at the back so you can put things like your valuables, your car keys, um, money, wallet, purse, whatever it is, just kind of saves on having to carry that extra bag, which again, kind of in a way makes it safe for the baby that you're carrying. Point number three is there's great Facebook ad potential. So I just wanna show you this Facebook ad that I found, which I thought was a pretty good one. And again, the best products to advertise on Facebook are ones that kind of demonstrate how a product works and the advantage to buying it. That's why I like products like this so much is because at the end of the day, we're advertising on a social media platform. So it's all about capturing attention. Plus the other thing about this as well, as you can see in the video, there was a kid and there was an adult as well showing faces and faces are scientifically proven to attract attention, which again, makes it another good reason for why it's so suitable to advertise on Facebook. Back to the reasons then, I've said it's an evergreen market. There's lots, I say lots, there's tons and tons of different upsell and cross-sell opportunities with this. As a parent becomes a parent, becomes a new parent, um, obviously there's tons of different gear that they have to invest in. So it just kind of lends itself to lots of different cross-sell and upsell opportunities. There's little competition on Facebook as well. Um, if I open this link, I did a quick Facebook search for baby carriers. And as you can see, they're all very different to each other. Um, there's maybe one or two selling the same product, which puts you in good stead for when somebody sees your ad you're gonna be the first time somebody has seen that product, which is always a good thing. There'll be certain products that you'll come onto Facebook and search for them, um, and all, like, literally almost every single one of these will have the same thumbnail and it'll be the same video ad, which is always a bad sign. It's just a sign of saturation, too much competition, and the fact that people will have seen that product multiple times before. The final point I'd like to finish on before we get into the numbers is just to kind of, a little tip is to focus on a USP. So for example, this store here, when I was going through their Facebook ads, all of them were geared around or aimed towards mothers that were experiencing back pain because obviously as a mother, even a father too goes from not really carrying anything on their back ever to carrying a child around for potentially hours on end every single day. Most parents, most new parents are gonna experience back pain. And that was kind of their USP, their focus, the kind of people they were trying to target, the solution they were trying to solve, and they were doing really well and um, focusing on that one particular element. So when it comes to advertising products, not just this product, any product in general, try and find that one kind of really important element to the products that it can solve or make better for somebody. Finally then, the profit margins are really great in a product like this. Purchase price is £15.52, which we can see in the screenshot on the right. Sale price, £39.99, that seems about average across the board, which leaves you with a profit margin of a of approximately 25 pounds. Take away your Facebook ad costs, you're looking at about 15 pounds profit per order, plus any upsells or cross sales makes it a really profitable product with huge potential. The third and final product for this video then is this phone holder for a bike. Just to name a couple of reasons that aren't on this list because I couldn't fit them all on the page. Um, a couple of reasons then why I've liked this so much. Number one is because there's an increase in demand for products like this. Speaking to a couple of cyclists in my family, they use their phone so much now while they're on their bike to track the distances they're going. I think there's even an app now that will track your speed. Um, obviously, having music too, you can change your music. So having your phone up there in front of you um, is becoming an increase in demand. And the second thing too is that the cycling niche is a very passionate niche. I've sold multiple products in the cycling niche and trust me, cyclists are super passionate um, about what they do. To stick to the keynote then, starting from the top, um, Number one is the market is absolutely huge. Cycling is getting more and more popular and it's just about coming to trend too, especially in the UK with the weather getting better, getting warmer, i.e. it's gonna be safer to cycle on the road. Then now is the time in which it starts getting more popular, which we can see. So March time is kind of like the beginning of the spike upwards. So again, 
i.e. now would be a great time to start advertising and selling the products like this and this happens year on year too so you can pretty much guarantee that the popularity for this product is just going to go up and up and up for the next few months. To go back to the keynote then, um, a couple more reasons. It solves an important problem which I've already touched on, obviously having your mobile phone right there in front of you, you can change the music, keep track of where you're going, see what speed you're doing, see if anybody's ringing you, see any text messages or notifications you need to be aware of. There's flexible marketing options, there's so many different ways you could market this product, you could buy one, attach it to your bike and then have someone drive alongside of you taking a video, you could use a drone, you could attach it to a motorbike, you could attach it and do so many different things. It would attach to a pram, I've just seen the image there, I didn't even think of that, having it on a pram so somebody can keep an eye on their phone at all times. Um, point number three, easy Facebook ads targeting. Because the cycling niche is so huge, there's so many subjects within cycling that you can target. So for example, you would obviously target mobile users because it's a product for a mobile. And then within cycling itself, there's so many different things you can go for. So there's brands, there's different competitions, there'll be famous figures, there'll be websites, magazines. Um, the list is pretty much endless. The next point is people are more likely to buy one. So going back to what I mentioned briefly earlier, I have sold products in the cycling niche in the past. And what would happen is because people tend to cycle with their friends or part of cycling groups of multiple people, they would tag their friends or they would text their friends and say, hey, I've just seen this really cool product. Would you like me to get you one? And they would buy multiple of these things. The next point as well, which is quite an important one, to be honest, because it is the cycling niche, is that within this niche, there are a ton of just different products you can sell, like lights, um, different speedometers, um, bags. You can get bags that attach to your bike. You can get bottle holders. There's so many different products that you could offer as an upsell or cross-sell, um, which is obviously really great for your bottom line, your profit margins. And um, which brings us on to the final point then of this video, um, which is the number. So purchase price you can see is £1.66. After looking at a few different stores which are selling this product, kind of middle of the road is about £20, depending on which one you go for. You, there is this plastic one here, which has elastic that goes around your phone, but then there is a metal version as well so 20 pounds give or take which leaves you at a pretty healthy profit margin of 18 pounds 33 now if you can achieve obviously a 10 pound cpa which is pretty reasonable on facebook you're looking at over eight pounds profit per order and that doesn't include anything you can sell on top of that um, so overall a very good product with um, lots and lots of potential and with that being said then that pretty much wraps up the video so thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate the support by the way so thank you um, if you've got instagram make sure you head over there and follow me for more content on drop shipping these sorts of things for off of youtube make sure you check out my free ebooks too there will be links for each one in the description there's five different ones so make sure you go check those out they are absolutely 100% free and finally if you do want a proven step-by-step -step program um, that comes with my full support make sure you check out my ecom academy as well there's loads of different testimonials and a 10k club which I've recently added to it so click on the link go check those out and see what you think and uh, yeah that's pretty much it thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one